All right. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Who's Smoking channel. My name is Kevin. Actually, if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you like the content and subscribe to it all. And if not, um, hopefully I could serve you better next time. Anyways, on this particular video, what I wanna do is actually introduce a new thermometer pen and talk a little bit about my um, addiction to thermometer pens. And actually, can I first start just by saying how grateful I am that we live in a day and age where we just have so many options, not only for thermometer pens, but very good ones, at various different price points. And it's just, it's cool. I love this stuff. I love gadgets. So when the folks over at Typher asked if I'd be interested in trying their new thermometer pen, the Instaprobe, I was like, yeah. Show you this. So this is the Typher Instaprobe, and can I just say how pretty this thing is? I mean, that is that's pretty slick. So it's got that nice piano black gloss finish, which eh, some of my fingerprints show up for sure, but it's pretty. It's got the fold-out probe that we're accustomed seeing in all of these thermometer pens. This one has a really nice OLED display. Uh, supposedly, according to Typher you will get a reading on this thing in less than a second and it's accurate within 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, size-wise, it's about the same size and length as most of your popular thermometer pens out there, so nothing to write home about there. All right, so I'm sitting on the kitchen floor now to test out another feature of the Typher, which is the built-in magnets on the back of this thing. So I'm going to show you this right here, doing my highly scientific experiment. Um, actually, let's start with a couple of Thermapros. Not bad. This is my tried and true right here. Eh, not bad. Typher, let's see what you got. Ooh, that looks nice. Ooh, Thermaworks. Nope. All right, so I'm gonna first start with the newest pen from Thermoworks. This is the Thermapen 1. Okay, drop that right in there and touch the bottom. All right, so then here is the Typher Instaprobe. Nice. All right, and for those of you who don't know about like waterproof ratings, this one has an IP67, which means it is waterproof and sealed against water, liquids, dust, and all that stuff. And actually, if it goes into water, it can actually go into three feet of water. This is not three feet, but you get the idea. So something that I'm noticing with newer thermometer pens is that they're using updated displays. So instead of using, say, like that traditional display like that, which is, I think, quite clear, it works just fine, um, the newer ones are starting to incorporate some type of LCD or OLED display so it's a little bit brighter and easier to see in the dark. Um, the Typher Instaprobe uses an OLED display. Doesn't have any different colors on it. It's not like it's like the red kind or blue or whatever else I've seen out there. It's just this. Now, one of the downsides that I've come across is that when you're using an OLED display on some of these things, they're just not that bright. They, I don't know what the nits rating is, but as you can imagine, like you're holding your smartphone or you have a smartwatch out in the direct sunlight. Sometimes it's really hard to see. So when I bring this light, well, I mean, obviously it's gonna be really hard to see any of those, but you can kind of see some of these are a lot brighter and easier to see than others. I will say that the thermometer pen I have up top right here is probably the faintest. It's not the brightest there. So I'm gonna push that one out. If you look out over here, actually this display just went off. There we go. And so did my Typher. Oh, auto off technology. Right, so it seems to me though, when you have the different colors, like the, the blues and the greens that I've seen for the display, they make it a little bit harder to see when the lights are going over it. This one is not that bad. This one, I think because the display sits so much lower than the, the plastic up here, it is a little bit more susceptible to glare. So I do think the Typher actually handles itself quite well. 
Okay, let me put this light away over here. Okay, I, I probably should have said this earlier, but yes, Typher did send me the products. Um, yes, this video is partially sponsored by Typher, but they do not have a say in what I have to say meaning I get to share what I like about it and also what I don't like about it. And so at this point in the video, I feel like so far I've sung a lot of praises. I love the response time. I love the fact that it has a waterproof rating of IP67. I love the piano black glossy display, strong magnet that seemed to outperform all the other ones that I have. Now here are my gripes, ready? I do not like the way that the Instaprobe stores the probe when in the closed position. So if you notice a lot of the thermo pens, or not, I should say, the thermometer pens out there, they have some kind of notch where the sharpest point of the tip will rest in. The Typher, as sleek as it is, sits right there. I don't know if that camera will focus so that you can see. So it does lend itself to be more susceptible to getting snagged on things. So for me, I actually typically just store this on my refrigerator or on my smoker or my grill nearby where it's not that hot and it just sticks right there just fine. But in a couple instances where I've slipped this into an apron or in my pocket, it has snagged on the fabric uh, on the way out. So that is something that I did bring up to Typher. They said that they have received some feedback about that already and that they're working on it. So the Typher Instaprobe retails for $109 on their website and on amazon.com. And at 109 bucks, this thermometer pen is the most expensive pen that I've ever used and I currently own, even compared to the Thermoworks Thermopen 1, which currently retails for $99. Now, to be fair, the Thermopens do not have a built-in magnet. In order to have that functionality, you have to pay an additional $15 for a silicone boot, which then makes these very comparable. Now, comparatively, the Typher Instaprobe also has a very quick reading, less than a second. It's also accurate within 0.5 degrees, plus or minus degrees Fahrenheit. It also has an IP67 waterproof and dust rating. So all of those different types of things are comparable. What sets it apart is out of the box, the Typher already includes a built-in magnet. So you can put that on your appliances or whatnot. It does again have that really nice OLED display. I didn't mention this earlier too. I really appreciate how they have a battery meter right there as well. Um, but that thing's been full since the very day that I started using it. So a battery life I imagine is very, very good. But it has a very nice OLED display and those things I think do set it apart. So if you like the um, more fancier finish, the piano black gloss on the front, the OLED display and the built-in magnets, and I would say yes, this does set it apart and that should make you consider it if this is something that you, um, or that appeals to you a little bit more than the more traditional design of the Thermo Pen. All right, folks, so now we're at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you got anything out of this, please consider uh, hitting like, uh, subscribe, and if you want more information about the Instaprobe, there's a link in the description, and that'll take you straight to their website or to the Amazon link. All right, until next time, who's smoking? Dirty refrigerator. Nice. Dishwasher. Nice. Microwave. <laughs>